One day, this TikToker's just chilling in her apartment, and suddenly, the police start beating on her door. Now, her name's Kitty, and all this TikTok drama started when people on TikTok would confuse Kitty for this other TikTok creator, who we'll call Dead Body Lady. Now, Kitty doesn't like being confused with Dead Body Lady because she had heard Dead Body Lady is transphobic. So, Kitty makes a TikTok clearing all this up, and in that TikTok, she accuses Dead Body Lady of being transphobic, and she shows receipts. So, she posts that video on multiple platforms, and it blows up, gets almost a million views, and almost immediately, BAM! Kitty gets a notification from Facebook that someone filed a copyright claim against a couple of her videos. But Kitty didn't really use Dead Body Lady's video in her video. She only used a screenshot with herself talking in front of it, which feels like it would fall under fair use. So Kitty reaches out to the person who filed the takedown, Dead Body Lady's lawyer, who we'll call Ratlock. Now Kitty is of course mad, and she emails Ratlock the sassiest email I've ever read, and basically says, hey, my video's protected by fair use. And then Kitty, this like theater kid in her early 20s goes on to school this copyright attorney on what fair use is. And funny enough, Kitty's explanation isn't wrong. I do believe standing in front of a screenshot for a few seconds while talking about said screenshot does fall under fair use. And just to be clear, these are comments written by TikTok users. This is a comment also written by a TikTok user. And this little rectangle here is Dead Body Lady's video and this comment is Dead Body Lady's comment. So I guess this rectangle and this comment are what they're claiming is their intellectual property. Huh? That same day, Kitty also makes a video telling her followers about what happened with the copyright claim. And allegedly, Ratlock reads Kitty's sassy email and she sees Kitty's video and she doesn't like the way Kitty's acting. So Ratlock calls the police to have them go to Kitty's house and do a wellness check on her. Actually calling in a wellness check. She's acting irrational and posting really wild things online. It really looks like she's having a mental crisis. 30 minutes later, Dead Body Lady also calls the police to ask them to go to Kitty's house and do a wellness check on her. She is blackberrying people online. She is threatening people. So that same day, Kitty writes that sassy email. Police are beating on her door because they got two false reports that she might harm someone or herself. So Kitty answers the door. She talks to police. They don't seem too concerned and they leave. The next day, Ratlock and Dead Body Lady are still going after Kitty because they send her a cease and desist letter. Now this cease and desist letter is six pages long. It doesn't feel like it was written by an actual lawyer. It feels like a Facebook rant. It's riddled with spelling and grammar mistakes. It rambles on and it alleges that Kitty broke the law and then it cites the wrong law. And it also claims that Dead Body Lady has suffered significant damage due to Kitty's online campaign against her. And then it demands that Kitty make a public apology, which is just never gonna happen. And they email that bizarre cease and desist letter to Kitty. And for some reason, they CC Kitty's mom, who isn't a public figure. I guess they're just trying to get Kitty in trouble with her mom. And of course, none of this phases Kitty. She makes videos talking about all this, calling out Dead Body Lady, calling out Ratlock. And so the public sees all this drama and they're like, what the f are they doing to Kitty? And they start hitting up Dead Body Lady's TikTok, asking her if she really sent the police to Kitty's house? That's crazy. And allegedly, Dead Body Lady doesn't like all this pushback because she's like blocking people left and right. But eventually, she feels like she has to respond. And in her video, she basically says she's not transphobic, but she admits that she did call in the wellness check and sent police to Kitty's apartment that day. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, other creators have been publicly bashing Dead Body Lady over all this. And those creators start getting copyright strikes against their videos too. So now a lot of people are posting about this, publicly accusing Dead Body Lady and Ratlock of filing false copyright claims against people who say anything bad about them. And they're hitting up Ratlock's TikTok account because Ratlock has a TikTok account with like 50,000 followers because I guess she's trying to be some kind of social media lawyer or something. So they start trashing her on her account. So then Ratlock makes a couple of videos about this and she's fighting back and she's arguing with people in the comments. Imagine your lawyer fighting with people in TikTok comments. And all of this is making Dead Body Lady and Ratlock look really bad. But then, suddenly, out of nowhere, kaboom! Dead Body Lady and Ratlock hit Kitty with a lawsuit. Not threats of a lawsuit, an actual lawsuit. Like they have been assigned a judge and it is moving forward. So they are now suing Kitty, but not for copyright infringement, which suggests that Kitty was right the whole time when she schooled Ratlock on fair use. But rather, they're suing her and three other content creators for defamation. And it looks like the other three content creators that are 
being sued got pulled into this largely because they were reporting on the situation between Dead Body Lady versus Kitty. So now all four of these creators have to get together and they start a GoFundMe to pay their legal bills from this lawsuit. And just to be clear, this isn't like Dead Body Lady is the plaintiff in this case and is using Ratlock as her attorney. No, no, no. Dead Body Lady and Ratlock are both the plaintiffs and they together have hired an outside attorney to represent them. So it appears like Ratlock has moved herself to the center of her own client's legal battle. Now, I don't know what really happened in this situation. I only know what the videos and the legal documents show. But I can tell you how this looks. To me, this looks like Dead Body Lady and Ratlock filed false copyright claims to bully Kitty and these other women into shutting up. And now they're filing a frivolous defamation suit against her and these three other women, and it's unlikely that any of these four ladies are ever going to shut up, because that's just not the way things work. Like, you can't sue people on the internet to get them to stop saying mean things about you. That is a fool's errand. And look, I've been doing this a long time. If you want to be an influencer or like a big TikTok star, people are going to say mean things about you. And they're going to spread rumors, and a lot of them are going to say things that aren't true. That's part of the gig. I mean, it sucks, but if you want to be in the spotlight, backlash is part of the gig. But all that is just my opinion. Now, I don't normally shout out GoFundMes because of scams and stuff, but shout out to the ladies GoFundMe.